In this video we'll be creating a fanfare from scratch. So let's hear the final result first and then I'll walk you through the process. So now let's start with some blank tracks and we'll recreate that fanfare from scratch. First off we'll play in a solo French horn and we've set a key switch on D0 for dynamic expression long. You've got a nice rip there, to achieve that we simply press the sustain pedal to access the portmanteau transition. Next we're going to use the French Horn Ensemble, where the three French horns play together. And there you heard that same portmanteau transition to achieve the nice rip upwards. We need to do a little bit of fine tuning on the sustain pedal, so we'll manipulate that CC64 data. Next let's move to the trumpets. We're going to record the trumpets at a lower speed, but since the trumpet part still has some very fast repetitions, which are quite hard to play on the keyboard, we'll use the repetition hotkeys. And pressing the hotkey simply repeats the last played note or chord. This is a really easy way to play really fast double and triple tonguing effects. Now let's go back to the original track's tempo and record the rest of our piece. Next another horn ensemble for the lowest part. And on the long notes like that, you can hear the natural dynamic curve of the dynamic expression articulation. The piece is really coming together now. Let's add some more low notes played with another trombone ensemble. So that's enough brass for now, let's add some top end interest with some shimmering flute trills. To keep it simple we'll use C flute 2 together with the piccolo flute on the same MIDI channel. So we only have to play a single track here, but we can control the sound separately for both flutes. So let's now tweak the tracks and we'll see if we can't get a little bit more realism out of the fanfare. First let's go in and edit the velocities of the flute a little bit. Just bring those down slightly. Now into the low trombones and we're going to edit MIDI CC2 which controls the note heads. The note heads are a collection of six different short articulations and by editing MIDI CC2 we can switch between the different short articulations. In this case the note heads are stacked on the dynamic expression articulations and are used to vary the attack of the notes. Although the sample dynamic curve of the dynamic expression articulation works very well, we'll also edit the volume a little bit here, just to add a bit more of a crescendo at the end. Let's adjust the timing of that last chord a little bit, just to make it sound a bit more realistic and less quantized. On the low trombone ensemble, we'll also edit the note heads to get a more punchy attack on those short notes.
We also edit the volume curve and lower the velocity for these notes too. Let's take a listen to that. Okay, that sounds good, but for these short notes here, we really need a faster attack. And that's much better. So we'll head back to the trumpets now, and a little bit of tweaking is required here. First we'll edit those note heads again for a punchy attack, and we'll do that for all of the short notes. I'm just going through the phrase here, adjusting MIDI CC2 so that all those short notes have a more punchy attack. And I'm also going to edit the velocity curve on some of the longer notes. Let's set a key switch here before that chord to switch to the rip articulation and another key switch note to jump back to dynamic expression. Then you can hear that rip upwards. The high French horn ensemble is almost perfect already. Let's just adjust a couple of note heads for a punchy attack in the final version. That chord here, a little bit too hard perhaps. So we better leave the original attack of the dynamic expression articulation. That's better. And that gives a nice build up to the final chord. Lastly, let's go back to the very first solo horn, which is our leading melody instrument. The portmanteau is just fine, and the long transitions do a great job here by just pressing the sustain pedal. But we'll add a little volume adjustment, just for some variety and to keep the phrase moving along. A quick listen now to the lead melody part played by solo horns and the horn ensemble. And altogether we've created a perfect sounding brass ensemble for our fanfare. Lastly we've prepared some additional string and percussion to add to the track, just to finish things off. Now with everything combined together it sounds lovely and full. Thanks so much for watching. For more information about Chris Hine Instruments, please head to www.chrishine.net. Bye bye now.